at home overview of how the 175 grain 30 caliber terminal ascents performed ballistically shot into 10% ballistics gelatin. High velocity load was shot out of a 300 PRC. Low velocity load was shot out of a 308 simulating long range. Go check out submoashooting.com. You can get sample packs of bullets. When you're doing load development, you can probably save yourself some money. Our high velocity load hit the gel at just over 3,100 feet per second. And that had a weight retention of 143.1. Our low velocity load hit just a few feet per second over 1,800 feet per second. And that had a weight retention of 171.9. With that uh, high velocity load, we have it opening up almost instantaneously, giving us that really good permanent wound cavity out just barely past the 10 inch mark. Tapering down significantly, still carrying good permanent wound cavity out. Uh, that one and a half to two inch permanent wound cavity looks like it runs about the 19 inch mark, tapers down, and you carry some permanent wound cavity all the way till it exits the block. It went through one milk jug and was caught in the second milk jug full of water. So you would have had, you know, uh, over 40 inches of total penetration. That uh, large portion of that. Uh, high velocity permanent wound cavity uh, nearly split my gel block on all four sides so you have uh, over a five inch good permanent wound cavity running to that ten inch mark it's two inches there we still have inch and three eighths there and you're running just under that one inch permanent wound cavity at twenty four inches so not for hitting the gel that extremely fast, not overly destructive, so you wouldn't ruin a ton of meat, still going to perform good, yet at that low velocity, it did amazingly well. You have that bullet opening up at one and three quarter inches, the really good portion of that permanent wound cavity running from the two and a quarter inch mark to the 13 inch mark where it tapers down carrying permanent wound cavity to approximately 18 inch mark and the leading edge of that bullet was 27 and a half inches that larger portion of that permanent wound cavity here is a good two and a quarter almost two and three eighths so really good performing Bullets overall. Get you a little closer view here of just how that low velocity one performed. And then this high velocity. Definitely cannot complain with that kind of performance. If you're looking for a bullet that will. Uh, in the situation needing to take that really close range shot with really high velocities still going to do hold together and do the job yet still designed to open up well at that longer range i know um, the tips hollow in here it's a patented polymer tip that they use they say it'll cause expansion about 200 feet per second uh, slower than normal polymer tips and then there's a little bit of hollow in the copper that opens up the lower velocities you can see that on that lower velocity around how that opened up and did the damage yet still holds together good and penetrates deep on the high velocity uh, compared to their TLR TLR seem to open up a little bit better at the lower velocity and I'm not sure why because they're a real similar design but uh, overall, great performing bullet. If you can get them to shoot accurately out of your gun, you're going to be really hard pressed to beat 
that terminal performance right there. Hope you guys enjoy the video.